Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at Valiant Hearts The Great War. This is a sort of point and click puzzle adventure game sort of thing, made by Ubisoft Montpellier, the studio behind the last Rayman game, not Origins, but the one that came after that, as well as Child of Light, which we looked at fairly recently. Again, this is built on the UbiArt engine, which seems to be a engine mostly built for hand-drawn looking sort of animation. And I'm curious to see what this is. This is a World War I game, rather than the much more popular World War II setting. And it's kind of more about people surviving in the war rather than the actual soldiers. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is. I've heard pretty good things about it so far. Let's just get in here from the beginning. I find it weird they still have to warn you August about autosaves. 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, France is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Karl is one of them. A few days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away a meal as well. A heavy hearted Emil was called out to fight and left the farm for Samuel. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. Alright, so already off to a bit of a depressing start. What with his son? Son-in-law, maybe, being deported back to Germany. And I guess here we're. Uh, this is our training camp. They took away our clothes. So you know. It seems like a, a bit of a side-scroller right now. We don't really have uh, any sort of vertical axis, just left and right. Alright, so I guess this is our first puzzle. Gotta wait for our mobilization call. Bravo, bravo. And I guess we're off to war. Or, no, we're off to training first. We're not quite ready for war. Alright, so we've got a simple attack. Not sure if there's gonna be any proper combat like that. Though it looks like we're learning how to fight, so maybe we will actually fight somebody. Well, they're not exactly potato mashers, but I guess they'll do. Oh, 
Alright, so far so good. That's neat. So we actually get some factual information here. Not just, you know, general World War One. We actually get some stuff about what's going on. You know, kind of uh, situations. I assume we're going to get more of these as we go. Kind of weird that it has a Facebook and Twitter integration on this. I mean, are we going to share these facts with people on Twitter? Alright. Got some collectibles. goes well. Rely on our neighbors for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. Not quite sure why our French fellow here has a, a at British the accent. People in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at Platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be his truest friend. I mean, I guess it's possible he could just have been an immigrant. England isn't exactly far away. Alright, so I got rid of that guy. I need to get rid of the rest of them still. Hmm, what do I need to hit? Is it that bell up there? Alright, got a whistle. I guess I can't do anything with this. I can't talk to these guys. see anything else I can hit. I can't hit the driver. No game, I don't need help just yet. Okay, so it looks like the other steam vent is attached to the driver. We can't just throw it at him. Hmm, what would make him pull that? Ooh. 
No, I guess he just wanted better wine. Or he didn't like red, he only wanted white. Yeah, so, okay. This is our daughter, and this is our son-in-law. I guess these are all our main characters. Okay, he wants music. And what do they want to play music? Alright, so it's just a do them in the right order puzzle. interesting period to set a game in. Obviously there's not a lot of games to take place in the, you know, 1910s I guess it would be. Oh, that one guy's just vibrating in terror. They speak in really August short 21st, 1914, sentences, and it's weird that they don't have subtitles. The was to fight against the 71st German Division, led by Baron von Dorf. The general cheer of the first hours dissipated into the fear of first combat. I mean, presumably it's a stylistic choice that you can't really understand what they're saying. So this would be early in the war, there's no trenches or anything. Alright, just gotta avoid the falling shells. Funny that even when we stand still, he's still running. Things are getting rough, but we can't stop because we're the standard bearer. I think I just fell off screen and died. Maybe? Or am I just stuck at the edge of the screen? Freddy, originally from America, I enlisted voluntarily don't in know the what French happened there. forces at the start of the war. Behind his bravery hid a man already devastated by the war's effects. A man with one sole obsession, punish those who had destroyed his life. It was at the Battle of the Marne that Freddy finally picked up the trail of the regiment commanded by Baron von Hof. Alright, so now we switched over to Freddy, who I guess is at the same battle. TNT for the bridge. Nope. Almost just, uh, 
linked out. I will admit that uh, I don't know nearly as much about the various battles of World War One as I do World War Two. Oh, we can just climb over this or cl clip it. I guess Freddy here's got wire cutters, which will probably be important for future puzzles. Shiny thing under there. Oh, I can't get it now because I blew it up. It's probably one of the collectibles. I'm curious why Freddy here seems to uh, be unarmed. Maybe he's a sapper. So, sort of engineer. Alright, wait for him to reload. And go! I like that they've just walled that one gunner in completely like, well, if you get shot, it sucks to be you. I picked up a collectible. Right, how do we set this off? Like I mentioned with Child of Light, I like the look of this game, the sort of art style that Montpellier goes for. I saw someone complain that the game uh, was kind of, you know, minimalizing the importance of World War One by using such a sort of cartoony art style, but honestly I don't think that detracts at all. Throw this in here. I suppose I should have mentioned when I said potato masher, this is what I meant. The German grenades. They sort of look like a, you know, potato masher. And we're presumably a lot better made than the British and French and even American grenades at the time. So maybe not as much of a traditional point-and-click adventure as I suspected. Okay, that's not gonna work. Gotta throw it through the roof. That sucks to be you, buddy. Oh, my God. 
So we need a, something to knock that ladder down, like this bottle of wine. <laughs> okay, I threw it right through it, but it's still working. I can't just nail that guy in the head. Defeated. This guy's a pretty good balance to stand up on that rooftop with all that gear. Thanks to support from British forces, the German plan failed. The front line moved back to the north, and with the arrival of winter, froze. Soldiers holed up amid a vast labyrinth and this is where the of trenches, trenches come in. and tunnels that would become the indelible image of the Great War. Karl's regiment retreated to the outskirts of Neuve Chapelle, the same camp where Emil was being held prisoner. <laughs> Alright, so I guess after falling off of screen, uh, France here was captured. Apparently this game is mostly based on letters from World War One, just kind of thematically. I like that there's just an article on mud. Alright, I guess we've got to do a cooking puzzle here. in a climate of uncertainty. Germans use the people of saint Mien as human shields against the French bombings. I hope the Germans treat you well, and that your wound has healed. Your grandson sent you kisses. I sent you a picture of him. All my love. Please write soon. Adieu, Paul. Not sure why there's a picture of here here. Her here, not here here.
Simple enough. That's all you need to feed soldiers. A whole bin of wiener schnitzel. I think I actually died. Yep. Alright. So let's not get shelled. I didn't notice the shell shadows right away. Rescued by this German medical dog. Alright, so I guess we don't have our gun anymore, we just have this cooking spoon. Get out of the way. I guess I can command the dog? Yeah. I don't know why this German medical dog is listening to us. He even understands French. <laughs> Anyhow, I think you get the idea of what this is. It's sort of a, I was going to say a lighthearted, you know, not super difficult puzzle game, but I guess it's not really lighthearted. It is and it isn't. Obviously the subject matter is not exactly lighthearted, but the presentation appears to be. And it's neat that it's got the little factual stuff mixed in. I think this is, uh, this is pretty cool. You know, it's nice to see Ubisoft putting out these little games now. I, I wouldn't really say they're indie games, since obviously they're getting, you know, the Ubisoft budget. But they're smaller projects, and that's something Ubisoft hasn't really done. It's also neat to see a game made by a studio in a country, or about a country that it's actually made by. Since this takes place in France, and of course Ubisoft Montpellier is a French studio, as opposed to their Montreal, you know, Quebec studios here in Canada. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire. This is Valiant Hearts, The Great War. This is available for $15 on Steam, PlayStation 3, probably PlayStation 4, and Xbox 360. I think it's pretty neat, and maybe you should check it out if you're into these sorts of things. Really pretty, too. Anyhow, you folks all take care.